this going here. <laughs> that was so silly. So coming up, I guess I'm gonna be doing a countdown. I guess I'll be doing commentary with this one. So we got um, Sonic 1 glitchless. So I hope y'all are ready for this. Um, we're gonna make sure I have this information here. We're gonna update our command here so you all can make sure you all follow the, well, that's lovely. Make sure I follow the right people again. Book to the Man and Super Sonic 707 racing Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Are we ready? Are y'all ready? I hope y'all are ready for this because I am too. So Mario 1 to Sonic 1. Make sure we got some sound for these people. Because we don't have any sound on this screen, which is lovely. All right, so they're starting from title select Sonic 1. I hope y'all are ready for this. All right, let's get rid of this music. All right, the music is out of here. What a lovely fade. All right, so we're going to give them a countdown here. And we're going to count them down in, starting from five. Yeah, I, I was supposed to have a gentle fade there, but apparently my gentle fade wasn't quite too gentle. All right, so now I get to play commentary and um, video producer, editor, all that good stuff. So I'm going to do my best to get these in sync here. All right, let's see if I get them in sync here. Uh, all right, I think we I think we got them in sync. All right, let's go. So here we go, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the beginning. Again, we're doing this glitchless here, so you're going to see a lot of crazy tracks, like obviously loop jumps. We want to get the loops as fast as possible because um, obviously we want the game as fast as possible because they want to make sure they win this race. Right, right. So both of them starting, it looks like um, Sonic having a slightly faster GH1 with a 25 versus that 26. Oh boy, of course it's a game where points don't matter. Of course, interesting, I think we're doing kind of a real time approach, so as opposed to, you know, timing via ILs, you know, in-game timer. So here we go. Taking the bottom right, getting these speed shoes because obviously it's Sonic, we gotta go fast. So, uh oh, little problem getting up the hill there. What, meanwhile, we got Booktime and making it. Going to grab the invincibility. A little sour, please. Oh, boy. Oh, now, we all have, I think every Sonic 1 runner sometimes takes that middle section a little slow because if you fall down and hit that, that bottomless pit, it's over. So that's going to give Booktime a little advantage here because of that death, man. Always that gap, and it's even worse because you usually die right below the checkpoint. But nonetheless, he's gonna make up ground here. He's a trained professional, y'all. He will bounce back, I promise you. He is indeed a trained professional. So we're gonna shift the audio over here. We can have fun with this and move it over to our, our leader right now. Books the man. Rolling his way, he's gonna grab another invincibility. Take care of our first boss, the most epic boss team in Sonic. Does it get any better than this, honestly? You all know that feeling the first time we heard of things like, oh man, things about to get real here. Alright, so we got about a 38 here for GXZ3. So both the man's done with first time, but man, this game goes fast. And look at Sonic, look at Super Sonic taking, taking the old so perfect GXZ3 strats. Bouncing off the ring monitors, the invincibility monitor. I just love seeing that strat. I just love that route. Who's got time for bouncing on the ground? So Super Sonic making up some serious time there with that extremely fast um, Jay Z three there. Meanwhile, Marble Hole, Marble Hole, Marble Hole. Is it Marble Hole? No, I'm, I'm thinking about playing Labyrinth. Never mind. Marble Zone Act One. So again, you know, no zips here. So unfortunately, Dr. Fatbody is not going to like this one too much because, you know, no no zips skipped that little section. We have to play it the way the game almost was intended to be played right now. All right. So down we go, of course. Um, I'm not sure if we're playing on the OG version with the spike bug glitch, you know, where spikes don't have any iframes, even if you get hit. So I'm going to take a little damage here. Don't want to get crushed here. It's going to iframe it using the shield here. And I got time to be tiptoeing through those blocks here. Again, taking advantage of the spikes there to get a little extra boost here. This level is just, you know, you never saw this level when they promoted this game because you don't really go fast in this level. 
You know, y'all remember those commercials back in the day. Some of y'all are actually like 45 years old. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so again, another spike boost there for Supersonic. Saving that time there, waiting for the platform to fall down. 45 for Books and Man as he goes on to Act 2 of Marvel Zone. And Supersonic is right behind him, not too far from a time standpoint here. This is good. A little slip up there. All right, so here we go. My favorite part here, just run here, just get a ring. Get out of there before the iframe's in. We don't want to have a death there. Well, four years old. Man, you young. It's all good. We got people. I hope y'all enjoying the event here. This is actually fun to commentate, by the way. All right, so here we go. Our middle section, Jigs 2. Uh, Marble Zone 2. Kind of the longer act. I'm not really a big fan of this level. It feels like when it should end, it's still going. We have to go back down again into the uh, purple realm area. Again, um, got to be a little careful here. They so angle jump. They're going to get a ring. Don't want to die here. Especially we skipped all checkpoints. This is not the zone you want to die on. Considering they're skipping all the checkpoints here. All right, so back down to the last third of the level here. For book to the man here. Again, this is a glitches category. So no zippity doo dahs here, man. See, this is the no cheat run right here. You know, cheating by pressing buttons on the controller. Yeah. I'm going to be a little careful here. Not going to be able to do any boosting here. We ain't got no rings. Which now puts them in the same exact spot because of that. And oh boy, look at that. Just that quick. Just that quick. Supersonic had the rings to spike boost. So he could pass them. Meanwhile, because Butcher Man lost his rings. And just that quickly. That death doesn't even matter. 107 versus 129, man. Time right there. 22 second gain. And let's go. So a couple six second leaves there, Doyle. Don't you just love this stuff? Super something mad about that death, ain't he? He's mad. Let's do a little. Let's do a little. A little music switch, shall we? Bam! DJ in the house. Switched audio over there to Supersonic here again. Very, very close now. So any mistake here is going to be um, catastrophic to the lead change. It's going to basically guarantee a lead change at this point. God, this is going so good. We should have made everything a race. Um, but here we go. Tiptoeing here. Again, everybody loves this section. You don't want to miss this junk because obviously the end of it is death. That's right. Nothing but races. We may have a new event coming up. Watch out now. All right. So here we go. And of course, this might be glitchless, but does that mean you can't take shortcut? And everybody knows about this one-up drop. Blazow. Dun, 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 dun. All right. So again, we're just going to spike boost here. We ain't got time for waiting for that. Yeah, be careful we don't get stabbed on the staircase here. Yeah, we still have to figure out what the next nothing but event would be. You know, I was thinking about Mega Man or maybe even Zelda or... Nothing but races, yeah. Set up nightmares. All right, let's go, man. Time for our robotic fight two here. I'm going to get four jumps over here. Watch out there. So it's going to come back across here. And get the last few. Uh-oh. Maybe not as fast as he wants to go. He's got to be careful here. A little bit Maka S here. So the fight was obviously a little bit better for Boog to the Man, which is what he needed. So a 135 over there to a 130. Oh, he missed the, oh, he missed the button. Rip. You know that feeling when you jump short. You try to jump and land on it as it's scrolling to the right, and you just jump a little too early. Just sit there beside the button. Oh, the feeling. So we got about a three, four second lead for Supersonic. Again, not too much deviation as we head, on, head over to our, probably one of the best zone music in the game here. Good old Spring Yard. We all know this one. Again, taking the top route with speed. She was jumping over. We're going to land on these platforms. Jump on the angle platform. Jump over. Hit a yellow spring. Or just jump over the spring because he's just that swag. And man, Supersonic is making fantastic work. Let's see if we can hit this without hitting the button. Oh, boo. He, he went for the monitor strat. He didn't try to just sneak in the little the little little area like I try to do. Soft. Anyways, nevertheless, he's through in 27 seconds. Butcher Man, unfortunately, a little a little um, motion there, a little issue there. He's gonna have to play a little bit slower as he took damage there through the rotating spike ball things. All right, we continue here. Act two, again using the good old above strats. You know how Sonic games are, it's always nicer to be on the upper paths. Much nicer. Again, both of them having the same route, using the bounce off the bumper to go over the bumper. 
Got a little tip to the tulips here. And of course, Super Sonic goes, oh, that little part where some of us got stuck as a kid bouncing on the bumpers to try and get up. Oh, another fall there. For Boot to the Man. Here we go, and of course, he's at the end. Upper path. Oh, but what a what a fantastic jump. That's that jump where you know you did it as a kid, you jumped too high. And once you hit the wall, you cannot move anymore. You just fall straight down to the bottom. But to jump in there and of course avoid hitting the spring, go over the spring, fantastic exit there. Uh, and, and I just uh, was is that commentator's curse right there? I didn't do it. He didn't want pressing the buttons. Alright, let's go, Super Sun. Super Sun getting the roll there. Not getting hit by the spike balls here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if, Fat Boy, if you're here, no zips right now, man, I bet. Got a chance. I ain't do it, anyone pressing the buttons, I'm saying. Alright, so Super Sun's about halfway through the zone here, gonna pick up things in that, in that oh-so-popular demo in Sonic 1 when it shows you going in that looping section to grab, which I believe is just the best combination in Sonic franchise, when you can get speed shoes and invincibility together. I really miss when he just sped the music, not having a dedicated track for the invincibility. Or for the speed shoes, so. Time to go fast. That's right, speed invincibility. So again, we're going to probably have this all the way to the boss here. Got to be a little careful on the, on the staircase section here. See where the platforms are and then jump. Speed shoes makes those jumps pretty trivial. All right, getting about five hits there. And now uh, we're four hits, and that takes care of that. Meanwhile, Boots of the Man is trying to go fast here to make up that difference here as Super Sonic is now at the halfway point of the game. Oh, boy, man. Boots of the Man gambled that one. Boy. You got to do things like that to try to catch up. That was slightly manka s right there. Managed to get up before he get fell down. So he's done with the act as well. About a 124-ish. Meanwhile, Labyrinth Zone. Everybody's favorite water level. I don't I don't know. What's the big hate with water levels? You don't move that slow. I mean, if you think this is bad, go play Sonic Blast for the game gear and then and then enjoy this level. If you think this is a bad war level, oh god. Alright, so Super Sonic gonna use that. He didn't get crushed, he's gonna take the upper path here. For some reason, this game has a strange bug when you do that path, there's this lovely, lovely, flowy pack platform to just go right across. Um, skipping a lot of the water section. And, uh, again, probably the only way you can get up here unless you use Tails. <laughs> Tails and Sonic 1? Wait, what? No. Alright, so the thing is, is obviously to hit the switch first, as you see Boots the Man hit the platform, make the platform rise, then go back up. And take care of that. Again, saving... What, about 20 seconds off that route overall versus the normal route? So Super Sonic maintaining his lead with a 56 in Labby 1. This is awesome too, I know. Yeah, I hope we. I was trying to see if someone could submit Sonic 1 Game Boy Advance to show you to com, you know compare and contrast the amazingness of this one to the what the what were they thinking of the GBA one. I must encourage you, if you never played Sonic 1 for the Game Boy Advance... You have to experience it once. You don't have to like the experience, but you just have to experience it. So, uh, meanwhile, we got um, Sonic is moving quickly here. Going to grab this invincibility. Again, you want to use this invincibility to get through this water section, which will probably run out right around the little red enemy with the spike balls, and hopefully get out before you drown. See, this is a speed run. We didn't get time to get no air bubbles. So, you're going to see him move up this platform very quickly. Going to jump over that one. He's going to probably jump and roll here to take the damage. Oh, he actually didn't even get hit. Best music right here, y'all. Don't be scared. He's all right. Don't be scared. I, I know how much we all freak out on that sound. Oh, man. Well, you know, I know. I'm just saying that. So, again, uh, again... Sonic is making some really good movement, keeping a lead over Boots and the Man here. I believe Super Sonic does have a faster PB than Boog anyway, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, man, it's always, I always say in the world of speedrunning, if you want to make yourself better, race someone that's best, best, better than you. You know, it's, it always strives you to kind of stay with them, 
you know so uh keep that in mind man when y'all think about running speed games and racing now, especially when you're in a no reset situation all right so uh good old water station again taking the bottom path you know you gotta be careful here if you're playing this with the spike glitch you can actually die if you get hit by the spikes twice in a row because there are no offerings more manka oh he actually got he actually got the air boo Almost getting to the end of that sound cue there. All right, so everybody's favorite part here. By the way, this part is complete utter garbage on the GBA version. Let me just tell you that. Let me just tell you that. You know, optimizing this climb is fun, you know. You can kind of jump over two steps when you can. Let's see if Super Sonic can really impress us and do this completely without even having the water touch him. That's the sign when you're really on point here. Avoid the water. If you get hit and you fall into the water, yeah, physics don't matter. You just fall straight down. Forget water. Looks like he's going to be good here. He's going to get to the top and he's going to run straight across the gap. Just run over and make a nice little jump. And bye ya, 132. So again, Super Sonic mathematically from a time is at least about a minute ahead right now. But again, Buta Man is, is making ground here. He's going to be committed to the run. Not surrender, of course. As we go to probably one of the most comfy... I'd say this is probably the most comfy oh, um, level music in the in the series. Starlight Zone is just so perfect. Plus, you get to go fast. A lot of, lot of loops, a lot of springs... All right, so here we go. Butcher Man making his climb. Going up to the end of Labby 3 here. Again, taking advantage of all those fans. Again, out of 28, pretty good there. All righty, so again, can't blame Butcher Man not one bit by getting the shield there. Again, not having any rings, uh, any damage would be death. All right, Sonic has passed. A moment of silence from Sonic. All right, enough of that. He's back. Act two. And again, no zip, so we can't take advantage of a little fun little zip there at the beginning of that act, but it's all good. We get to see a lot of rolling, and look at that speed. Sonic fast. Again, jumping off the hills, you know, save rings versus just walking it naturally. You know, those speed runners, all those strats they got. Alright, gotta be a little careful in this bottom search again. You don't you know how Sonic games are. You go too low, you hit the bottomless pit. So nevertheless, he is done with Act 2 and 32. And uh Books of the Man starting off on Starlight, no problem there. So again, about a one act and change difference right now. But they're gonna keep it going here. Again, you know, one mistake could be bad, especially when we're skip skipping checkpoints here. So Super Sonic needs to stay on this game here. Alrighty. Supersonic just had to kill him. Supersonic, not happy with that decision. Well, okay. Um, okay. I, I know he wanted to go the upper path there. I guess he didn't feel like actually going the right and making his way. It wasn't that farther away, but, you know, I guess he, you know, when you're stuck, when you're stuck on what your routes, you don't really want to change them up. So, but nevertheless, here we go. Time to go roll all over the place here. And maybe he's trying to maybe he's trying to give Bunker Man some some room here to catch up. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a little hey man, I'll wait for you. I don't know. Alright, so um Act 3 balls coming up in just a little bit for Supersonic. So of course the thing about this boss is, you know, the tenant route is to seesaw, throw the spike balls up there. But you can frame is it frame perfect jump off to hit Robotnik without even using the um, explosive spikes there. But it's like he's using a little hybrid combination of Spike and Sanic to take care of Robotnik. And that is the end of the fifth zone for him. So he's going to be heading over to the final zone of the game. I was about to say launch base. I've been playing too much Sonic 3. All right. So Scrap Brain is coming up next here. Everybody's favorite zone here. 
dun, 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 dun. This is definitely the zone. If you haven't played this game before, first of all, if you haven't played this game, where have you been? Uh, but this is one of those zones where it does make it a lot easier to stay on the higher paths. There are some bottomless pits in the latter parts of these zones. So, again, you don't want to be down there unless you need to be. Bugs and the man going to make his way through. He's almost there. Ooh, oh boy, those enemies are very, very laggy there. All right, so he's going to get ready and fight Robotnik as well to see how his fight goes. Here's the part right here. If you happen to fall in that section that Super Sonic just went through, um, you better hope you land on one of those rotating platforms. Otherwise, dead. By the way, for those who missed the first race earlier, um, I believe it was a, uh, what was it? A point two second difference. So about what? One of, it was extremely close. It was like, what, 12 frames-ish? 11, 12? Yeah, that, that's that, that's the way you start off a doggone marathon right there, man. Very impressive for between um, Supersonic and GTAs. You know, Ace taking the win there by, you know, a 12. We're talking about a fifth of a second here. That's just how close it is. All right. Book to Man joins Supersonic in Scrap Brain Zone as well. Again, this zone generally features kind of two different distinct paths you can take versus where you go in Act 2 at the start, either the upper route or the bottom route. But eventually they both converge at the end in a different part of the little zigzag staircase. And here's that area right here. One part you would make your way up, other part just go down. So again, he's almost at the end of Act 2, but we get to get out close to the very end of this game here. One more act of Scrap Brain, which hopefully, because these players are obviously trained professionals, will not take long. If you're a Sonic runner, you don't spend time in the purple water of this level by any means. In fact, right now, I spent so long, I can't even remember what the actual other route looks like going through this level. But of course, you know the, sk the skip here. We're going to skip over this, outrun the sliding platform, make sure we don't fall down anywhere, and keep the upper path. We don't want to fall down the upcoming gap. We go over this one. This puts us basic at the end. They still bounce off the Batnik there, and of course, in just about 20 some seconds, we're done with this act. Boodle, 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 boom. So, of course, here we go, our final fight that a lot of us thought was complete RNG, but guess what, y'all? It ain't. It ain't. So, this fight can be manipulated um, depending on how you jump. So, basically, when you jump, you don't want to have any kind of uh, inputs here. And uh, these people know the set pattern, which, for some reason, it just slipped my number, my mind here. See, that's why I have you all in chat that can remind me of the, the sequence here. But as long as you don't jump um, with input, uh, D-pad input, you can keep this on the same pattern every time and know exactly where we're botting it would be. What is it? 4-3-2-4-2-1-4-3. See, I knew you had it. See, chat's so smart. That's why I don't run this game. I just know a lot of other things about it. So again, they already know what pattern to expect, so they can go a freight with no problem here. Of course, you want to know this is always a ringless section. So Supersonic is nearing the completion here. And that is it. So time will end upon Robotnik. Let's see if he gets a little special trick here. Ah! There you do, man. He, he, has, he has freaked us out there. So Super Sonic will be the winner of that race of a time of 22-29. Uh, Flat, basically. Pretty impressive there, man. So, GG, man. Super Sonic with a comeback. Had a death. But he didn't let that stop him. But before we get on that, let's make sure we got Boots and man. He's going to finish out strong here as he goes into Act 3 as well. Boodle, 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 boom. So, Super Sonic getting his revenge for, for losing by 12 frames in his first race. Again, shout out to Super Sonic who's on the West Coast. So he woke up pretty early, man, to do two consecutive races at the beginning of this event. So uh, much love for him for, you know, because he was streaming late himself. I was watching the stream last night. And uh, he managed to make sure he stayed awake, awake up to see this. So 
Maybe he didn't even go to sleep. Who knows? He might have stayed awake the whole time. But of course, GTA as well. Another early bird to the game, taking the win and Boatman, man, not surrendering man. Also getting the nice little swag bounce. Watch out, your dome piece, and let's see how he handles this final fight as well. By the way, as we get ready to go into our next game and wrap up this this next race, remember if you want to learn anything about what's going on with this event, who we're supporting, exclamation donate or exclamation nothing. That's nothing. Not a G. Bump the G. We ain't got time for G's. You gotta save the letters and the frames. All right. Remember, all your donations go directly to Child's Play Charity. Make sure you go through the donation link uh, on the Tiltify page. When you donate via the Tiltify page. You can also put your donation towards various incentives and goals. If you click on incentives, you can see some incentives such as uh, the karaoke percent for Sonic R. That's going to be at the end of the day. In up today's stream, we've got Saber Kill the Animals and, and Sonic R. We've got a character bid war for Sonic Rush. We've got the music bid war between the JP or the US track for Sonic CD uh, 2011 and the Tails Race. We got two races of Sonic CD, man, both at Sonic and Tails. And Butcher Man has got her done. So, uh, GG to Butcher Man not giving up. Also showing us a decapitated Robotnik as well. Gotta love it, man. So, GG to both of our runners putting on a fantastic show of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in a glitched standpoint. Yeah, thanks for being down there, Mr. Second Place Banner.